Hi, my name is Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through an exercise which is called Modern Internet, and the goal is to build a fully modern SharePoint internet. And that is using not all, but some of the modern page and modern layout, modern design SharePoint tools. So we're going to build a fully modern SharePoint internet. The steps are we're going to start with a new communication site called HQ. We do that, I'm gonna flip back and forth between the steps here and some other tabs. So let's start on the SharePoint tab, and there I will start a new communication site and create a new site, and that's gonna be a communication site. I'm gonna call that HQ, right? And I'll just finish that. And there's my communication site called HQ. So that step is done, let's just Highlight that, yep, there we go. That one is done. All right, the new company has three departments, sales, production, and support. They should each have their own modern team site. And we'll go back to the SharePoint homepage. Those were supposed to be team sites, and we'll do the sales. Let's just make these public for now. And it's creating that site. And there we go, we have a sales site. And that one is done, the sales. We're going on toward the production. Back to that. And we'll create a site. Again. All right, and it's gonna be a public one also. As you see, creating these modern sites is really, really fast, much, much faster than creating traditional site collections. Back to SharePoint again. And creating another site and it's going to be a team site again and here is the support and again I'll make that public so now we have uh, three department sites and one HQ site so that one is done let's um, yes this part is done all right so we're going to add links to allow navigation back and forth between department sites and the HQ site all right so we have the support site here. So what we can do is just use this quick links here and edit the page. Let's just remove the existing links there and add a new link like that. Add a link from a link. Let's just copy all that. And the one we want is the HQ site, of course. We'll open that. We can just call that HQ. Of course, we could put a logo on there and things like that. So right, there we go. Now we have the HQ link on the support site. And we publish that page. So now we have the HQ link, so allowing us to go back to the HQ site. On the HQ site, I want to put the links up here. So I'll just click Edit there and create a new link. Do that here. I'll call that Departments. I'm just actually just going to put a link back to where we are on this site. So I'll call that departments. And then I'll create more links. Support. And that, of course, will be a sublink. Make sublink. And then we can create more of those. And the final one is the production, of course. All right, so now we can get from the HQ site to all the department sites. And I've already done the support one, I think. Yes, there's the HQ link. So I can go back to the HQ and under the Sales, I'll do the same thing there. Remove these, add a link from a link on the HQ site, open that. And we will just save this by closing this down and publishing that. So that was the sale. And finally, let's go back to the home and production. 
edit the page, remove that, add a link from a link, paste in HQ site, open that, and uh, we are done. Just close that. And actually, we, let's go ahead and change that from home to HQ. That would make it better. Just press enter to save that and publish the page like that. Let's go back to the HQ. I think I did a mistake here on the sales site. Yes, it says home there. Let's change that. And just go there and put an HQ there. So we have a consistent way of looking everywhere. All right, so we have the navigation done. There we go, this part is done, excellent. There we go, all of that is done. Uh, on the HQ site first page, insert a graph of a YouTube video on a Visio file. Uh, this is actually two ways to do this. The easiest way is the one I'm gonna show you, of course, let's go back to the HQ site. This page now, the hero site has quite a lot of content on it. And we want three parts. As you see, this one has five parts. So I could, of course, go in and edit this page and remove all the parts on it. But uh, I'm going to do a simpler way, and I'm going to add a new page. And on that page, I'll skip out of that, I will remove the um, heading image. Just call that HQ. HQ like that. And then I'm going to uh, modify this section and make a three column section. Then I have a page with placeholders for three things, the things that I want. All right, let's go back and see what we want. Uh, a graph showing the sales of bikes. Let's do that. We'll insert a graph. Quick chart, that's the one I want. So um, sales, and then I will go in and edit this. And just put the data. So we have city bikes, 10,000. And then we add another one. We had the mountain. And that was 20,000. And finally, the uh, uh, sport. And that was 15,000. There we go, and I want to make that a pie chart, so I'm just changing that to a pie chart, looking good. All right, we're done with the quick chart. The next part that we wanted to do, that one is done, a YouTube video. All right, let's add a YouTube video. Actually, let's find a YouTube video first. YouTube.com. And let's just search for Kelmstrom Internet. That's the one, that's my most popular one. That's the old one that I'm doing um, based on um, the classic interface. So we're gonna share, and I'm gonna do an embed code. If I select all there and copy it, then I should be fine. So I'm gonna embed the code here, embed, there we go. So just paste all of that. And there's my video. So I'll close that, and that's saved. And the third thing that we wanted to do was a Visio file. All right. So back to the page. We are um, adding a new web part. And the one I want now is the file viewer. And the file viewer, as you can see it, uh, as the file viewer that can show Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Visio, PDF, 3D, and others. So that's a cool thing. I'm just going to do the Visio here. So let's go ahead and upload a Visio file. I'll just choose a file here. And I have a Visio folder here. Uh, let's just do the org chart. And we'll add that file. As you see, it's uploading that. And here's my org chart showing in that. And with a higher resolution, I can actually see all these three things on the page at the same time. So I'll publish that. And uh, now I want this in, not only in my navigation, but I want it to be the home page. And I could copy the address here, but uh, what I'm going to do is go into the site contents, find the site pages. And this is the one that I have done, the HQ one. So I'm just going to set that one as the home page. Make home page. There we go. 
this page is now the home page. So if I go to home page like that, now you see I get my graph, I get my video, and I get my Visio file on the home page. Right. So if we are done with all these three things, so yep, that one is done and that one is done. Now we're just going to add this HQ site to the featured on the SharePoint homepage. So let's do that one also. So again, we want the URL of the HQ site. Copy that. And I'll go into the SharePoint homepage here. And I'll add that one as featured. Here I see I'm following all these four that I've created now. It might take a while before I start following things, but it ends up there. So I'll add a link. HQ. And there we go. So now that's uh, featured, and of course, that is featured for everyone in the organization. So that concludes my demo, and we have done all of the parts in my exercise there. Thank you for watching this demo.